Now that the physical installation of the home power panel in F3800 is complete and everything is hooked up and switched on, it's time to go ahead and scan the QR code in the installation manual so that we can download the Anchor app to connect and configure our system. Once we've downloaded the Anchor app, it's time to add this device to our account within the app. And that begins by pushing the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi button on the home power panel. Once you've done that, simply go into the app, hit the plus sign, and select add device. It'll scan for nearby devices and select the home power panel when it appears. So now we just select the Solix home power panel. It will scan. Okay, the next step is to enter the credentials for the Wi-Fi network and make sure that you have the home power panel antenna extended. In order to make sure that everything is compatible and moves forward nicely, we have to make sure that our firmware is up to date. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that the F3800 is connected to our home power panel correctly and bound to it. And to do that, we will make sure that the F3800 is powered on. And with the system powered on, we will then depress the IoT button for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven. All right, as you can see, there are new versions of firmware available, not only for the home power panel, but our F3800, so we will go ahead and update those now. Once you've completed the firmware update, you should notice a small icon in the lower right-hand corner of your F3800 screen. That is a little picture of your home power panel, and the light above the power station position that's plugged into should also illuminate. That tells you that both of these are connecting. The next step is to go ahead and perform the system self-test in the app. Before it starts the system test, it will ask you how the home power panel was installed and where the position of the current transformer is. You want to make sure that you make the appropriate selection. In my case, I have the current transformer on the grid side and also on the photovoltaic side. So I will select that and hit next. We will turn off the photovoltaic input breaker on the main panel, which I've already done, and we can hit start. Once the system self-test is complete, you can go ahead and turn back on your photovoltaic input breaker and hit the next button. All right, now we will name our system. And now in this screen, we can set aside how much power we want our F3800 to cycle through on a daily usage and how much we want it to save in case there is a blackout. In our case, we're saving 20% in case there's an outage and we're gonna say that that works for us for right now. Now we've arrived at the screen where we will select our home power panel plan. Because my home is connected to a grid tied PV system and we're subject to time of use billing, the best option for me is going to be the time of use selection here. And now we will enter the details of our rate plans, which you can look up based on details from your home's energy provider. So since we're in the winter time, I will go ahead and tell it when the winter time happens. So because of the way this is set up in here, we'll have to set it up with three different seasons, even though there are only two different billing cycles as far as my utility company is concerned. And that is June through September and then September through into June. So because of the way the calendar is set up here, we have to do it in three, but that's okay. We'll just make season one and season three the same and season two will be our summer month setup. And that'll be June through September, and then the rest will be October through December and January through May. So the off-peak period is anytime between 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. So we'll go in here and we'll say that the off-peak period is anytime between 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. All right, so here you can see we've got the schedule set up where our off-peak periods during the day are from midnight to 9 a.m. and then we're peak from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and we're back on off-peak from 9 p.m. to midnight. And then down here, we will go ahead and input the pricing for that. And again, we'll just take a look at the information from our utilities website. And here we can see that our off-peak time is five cents per kilowatt hour, while our on-peak time in the summer is 26 cents per kilowatt hour and our on-peak time during the winter is only 21 cents. So we'll go ahead and put that. And so here we have during January through May, the peak price is 21 cents per kilowatt hour and the off-peak price is five cents. 
Now we'll go to our next season, which is June through September, and we will do the same thing. We'll adjust all of our timings and all the prices to reflect what we got from our utility provider. All right, once we've input all that information, we get to a review screen where we can go ahead and review all of our details here. And as you can see, everything's just what we talked about. Our peak periods are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., no matter what the season is, and it might be different for you. And our pricing is set up at 21 cents a kilowatt hour for peak pricing during the winter months. And in the summer months, that jumps up to 26 cents per kilowatt hour. We'll hit save. And now we're set up on our home power panel plan. So now we're back on the system overview, which is what you'll see after you're done configuring your system. And in my case, you can see that we are currently pulling in 1.77 kilowatts or 1,770 watts of solar from the roof. And that energy is being put right into our Solix, which we can see here, 1,542 watts are making it back into the battery bank here. And it's also powering my home's load right now, which is only 230 watts. Now, if the sun were suddenly to go away, we could either run off the batteries or pull from the grid. And based on the time of use settings, it'll take care of that and do it automatically. So that's how you can begin saving money today with your F3800 and home power panel. Well, that's going to do it for this video on how to set up and configure your Anchor Solix home power panel and F3800 so that you can get the most benefit from it today and start saving money. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest news and product info, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that we can keep you living in power.